Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft with me, Tivek. Let's start off by fixing this sign and set it to 3. Perfect. So, I've done a few things uh, up until this episode. I've installed a blue electric alloy furnace. I needed it for uh, these alloy ingots and uh, just next to it is a battery box. This one is charged up by a little neat contraption that I have here. It's um, a, two battery boxes and these are uh, thermal piles. Four of them to be exact. And the block between these thermal piles and just under this battery box, that's a lava block. This generates enough energy for me to get around. It's uh, not a lot, but it will work uh, for the things that I need it for. And I'm gonna use this room a bit today and uh, do a few things with it. Uh, first of all we're gonna light it up so we don't get any creeper explosions in here which would suck. And uh, then we're gonna get started on crafting a few things. First of all I am going to craft two of these. These are the Blue electric alloy furnaces. Let's take two of these. We can place them down. Gonna need to have some space between them. Like uh, I suppose I could put them like so. Yeah, that'll do. And these will use the items in this uh, nine, uh, three by three grid and produce something like um, uh, like these. Let me show you. Pick up some four redstone and a silver ingot. And I'll put this into this one. And uh, it's not a silver ingot. Let's use copper. I thought I could use silver ingots. Oh well. And you see it'll do like a normal furnace and uh, produce a red alloy ingot. And what I'm gonna do is uh, make a system that automatically makes these as I need them, so I can request them. So we're gonna need one copper and four redstone. I'm running very low on redstone, but I have a way to get more and I'll show you that in a bit. Um, so for this we're gonna need to do first of all some wiring and I'm going to need a few more things. Uh, I think I have wires here. I have four. Well, that should work. Otherwise I can... Uh, I don't have wool with me. Uh, I can make more of them, uh, but I think four will be just enough. I hope. No, I'm probably gonna need five. Six, actually. No, we can do like that. All right, perfect. Um, now we have the crafting logistics pipes. These we know how they work already. Basically, I'd tell them that one copper and four redstone would make uh, one red alloy ingot, but the inputs would not work correctly because uh, if it comes in here, it will be putting the items in this one. So we need to go from above. That's why we use the satellite pipes. There we go. This satellite ID will have um, number five and number. Let's see, and number uh, six, like so. And we can set this one to have. Uh, oh, it's not connected yet. So, let's see, put like this and this. Now this one should be able to find number. Five. That's this one, and this one can find number six. Perfect. Now I can tell this one to put one copper and four of these into the satellite, and that will get us one of these. Let's test it, but I need to do a little bit of wiring first. Um, I'm gonna run it up here and. Uh, Oh, of course. Yeah. Gonna have to have one of these. Oh, come back here. Thank you. 
just the normal basic logistics pipes. We need them uh, to make sure that this intersection works. Now my system should know about red alloy ingot. So let's uh, test it. I'll go here. Uh, in fact, just so you guys can see it as well, let's uh, pull out the request logistics pipe. I have one with me in my alchemy bag. And we'll put it... I'll put it here, just to, just to show. And uh, red aloe ingot. Let's uh, request um, six of them. And we'll soon see items come running through the pipes here. Oh, of course. I had a bunch already. Let's see how many I had. 35. Let's pick them up from the chest over here. Just to make sure that the system crafts them as I need them. There we go. Let's see now. Perfect. Zero. Six of them. We should see a few copper and uh, some redstone come running into this one and it will start working. And uh, once it's done it will spit that item out. Perfect. And you'll see here and it will come out in this area. Whoosh. Perfect. So now my crafting system knows about the red aloe ingot. While that one cooks these things I'm gonna go grab four nickelite. I think I have them in... Uh, oh, there. And the nickelite I can put into the crafting... There we go. With one silver and four nickelite, I'd get one blue alloy ingot. And I'm actually going to make this later so I can get the blue dot wafers and uh, things like that. Okay. So... Four of these and one silver. And silver in this one. There we go. And we'll pick up these so we don't lose them. Perfect. And uh, I don't have a blue dope one with me, do I? Nope. So let's just request one. And uh, there it comes. Perfect. And now in that one, I'll show that four of these and one of these. Perfect. So, now it should know that as well, so let's test it out. Let's test it out, but we need to empty this first, and uh, we can use this pipe here. I'm just requesting one because I don't need any at the moment. And we can see the items going into there, and the furnace switch is on. And here comes the new blue alloy ingot. Perfect! Let's just put this away for now. I wanted to start making uh, the automatic quarry, but I lack quite a few resources for this, and uh, there are a few things that I need to do first. So, let me show you the next thing that I've done. I know I said I wouldn't use equivalent exchange so much, but with the amount of resources that we need, uh, I have decided to make some diamonds. And as you can see, there are a lot of diamonds being created here. Um, I'll try to use only the diamonds, but also for redstone, because I tend to run out of that. And uh, I want to put up more episodes uh, and spend less time digging, so there's more enjoyment for you, I suppose. But um, uh, what I want to do next is, um, let me check these tables. I got one for the macerator, one for the furnace, iron furnace, item sink modules, and logistics chassis. That's good. I should do one for the... Let's do a couple of crafting tables and uh, also um, let's knock this one off so we don't have that there. I could probably make this a bit more compact, like putting the satellite pipes on this side. And yeah, we'll see what I do. But uh, for now, I'm going to do some resource gathering and uh, build up uh, a few things that we're going to need. And uh, I'll see if we can get started on something cool. 
So back in a bit. I just stopped by my sheep farm that I'm building and found this. Should I be worried? I think that wolf really, really, really wants that sheep. So this one isn't really working yet, but I'll show you how it works. There we go. I have to switch it again and it will pull everything, I hope. Yeah. It pulls it into there. I'm going to put this on timers and I'm going to fill these with um, with uh, sheep and uh, try to dye them each color. And I think we need some sort of wolf protection as well. But definitely need to have torches here or we will have things spawning. And we don't want that. So I'm thinking that I'll show you how I'm thinking on this uh, building a bit uh, as I do that. Um, ow. So, let's see. This transposer up on top here will pull any items in front of here, but I need to do that on a delay. Uh, so we're gonna have to put in um, a normal repeater or one of the uh, uh, red power repeaters. But for that I'm gonna need to make a few items and I'm gonna put in automated crafting for these I think. Okay, did he just attack my sheep? Yeah, he did. Can't have that. Sorry. So, what I'm gonna need is... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I want to have this one there or if I want it on top. It will be a few more of these redstone tubes which will cost me a lot more, but I think in the end uh, it's better. I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, anyhow, let's uh, head down again and I'll craft up a few of the red power logic circuits. So, be right there. Alright, so what we're gonna need are these items. Stone wafers, stone wires, anodes, cathodes, pointers, we don't need the red wire or bundles, I think. No, I don't think so. Just the wire and... Yeah. So, we're gonna have to make a few of these automated crafting tables again. And... Uh, let's see. And one that makes stone wafers. So, let's uh, head into our automated crafting area here. This one here is trained to do what? Make refined iron. And this is an electric furnace. Let's see, I will request another one electric furnace. No, let's make it two in case I run out of stone. Yeah, let's do that. I have the materials, but it's going to smelt a few things here, I think. No? Okay. It's good. Items are going in there. And that's the first one. And that's the second one. And before I do anything, let's make one H transformer upgrade and one I can't make the the cooling cells yet. So, yeah, you can, as you can see, this one is now making uh, refined iron. Perfect. Hmm, so I'm gonna need to make some overclockers again. I can't remember the recipe, so let's make two for each. So four of them, that's two electronic, four electronic and eight copper cables, and uh, that's uh, 12, is it? Yeah, 12 cone cells. And I have the transformer upgrade, one of them. And let's make 12 of these. Two of these. Actually, four of them. Eight of these. And I'm gonna make a compressor. Did I get the right one? No, not the insulated cable. Um, I just want that one. That was probably a waste of gold. So let's make eight copper cables. That's the last one of these. And here comes the cables. 
that's the ones that I had from before I suppose and uh, the rest should come zipping along very soon there we go so hmm was I thinking uh, yeah we need to go up here again to the compressor do I have space well to the extractor actually I'm gonna make an automated extractor for coolant cells as well but as you can see I need a lot of overclockers for that so I might not have enough inventory space so we'll see no I don't oh well I can just dump a few things like that and uh, these and that torch yeah Perfect. Let's uh, make these cells. Like so. Like so. And uh, so. And uh, so. Perfect. Now, I have to remember to cut the power completely before I place these down. And this is the only place where the power comes down, so let's uh, cut it there made a hole in the wall as well. Oops. Because if I do put these on the power current when it's uh, high voltage, I will have a nasty explosion and we don't want that. So one of these there and the other one there. Two overclockers and two overclockers. I usually split them up like so. It looks better. Let's see if it goes boom. Nope. Perfect. So for this we are going to need these uh, satellite logistics pipes and crafting pipes. So two crafting pipes, I got them on automated. There, I don't have the satellite pipes on automatic crafting, so let's uh, grab four redstone. Yeah. And uh, the digger's backpack. That's, no, that's the miner's backpack actually, but I'm gonna lock these anyhow. So I don't want to have everything going to my inventory, well, in my bag. So these are the satellite pipes. Perfect. Is that a satellite? Yes. And that and that is also a satellite now. Let's give them two and three. That's the reason why I didn't change that back on the other ones. It's a bit of a tricky place to have these, but oh well. So, in this one, I want to, that should be for number two, and that should be for number three. In this one, I want to make smooth stone. So let's get one of each. Perfect. Where's the other one? There it is. And uh, I'll jump, see if I can, yep, I can. One cobblestone there will make one of these. Perfect. And uh, for this one, I want to make, and I have to make one to get this working. So let's uh, grab another one of these and let this one smelt that. And you'll see I'll get these stone wafers. Perfect, two of them. And I uh, already got the other one. Perfect. One in that satellite will make two of these. Now I can, if I want to, request however many of these I want. Let's make it four. And we should see them come zipping down here. Oh, I already had a bunch. Um, let's see how many I had. I have too many. Just want to make sure that this works, so I am going to grab these from the red power one. Oh, I made 80 of them something. Well, oh well. I should probably move the other down, but I can't be bothered right now. Let's make four. We should see this one fill up with stones. There we go, perfect. And that will come zipping out there. And another 
two. Perfect. I could probably move this down, I suppose. I should just be able to do this. Like so. Shorter way for everything to travel. Also, make it impossible for me to get through. I need to dig myself out. Let's try again. Let's make two. And they will come zipping down there. Whoosh. And uh, there we go. Faster. Perfect. Now, these are all set up. I'm gonna have to make uh, an extractor f and a bunch of other things, but let's uh, make an extractor first. I've forgotten about how to make it. Uh, extractor. I can make the centrifuge extractor, but I don't have the, uh, the electrolyzed water cell. So let's make four tree taps. Machine block and a circuit I can make myself. So let's see. And a machine block. Perfect. And uh, let's request some uh, wood. We'll just wait for these to arrive. Perfect. I wonder why I got that wood. Oh, it doesn't really matter. And I also need <laughs> one more wood. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Are we still waiting for the machine block? Yes, we are. Wonder how that's going. There it is. Just took a little bit of time. So, with the wood, we can now make four tree taps, like so. Machine block there, and this there, and extractor. So we're going to have to craft up a bunch of these um, these uh, overclockers. And uh, let's uh, make it six, because that works well. Also one transformer. So I'll be back once I've crafted these. Alright guys, I finished up how to make overclocker upgrades. Uh, in the automated crafting table and I need to do a bit of a hack to make this work because if I were to put uh, these coolant cells in the input it wouldn't work because they don't stack so instead I need to use the satellite pipe I don't know if I can do it separately let's uh, test this out without a coolant cell in there as you can see I have coolant cells in this chest but let's uh, for this test take them out and uh, Let's request one of these. And we'll soon see items come zipping along. This one went down into this here. I put in an extractor. And it will go zipping off. Oh, not the coolant cells. I want to make another overclocker. So this one should soon receive a couple of cans. I will go into the extractor down there. This one should already have all the materials stacked up and ready. Well, it's waiting for the electronic circuit, which will come there. Now it's just waiting for the compressed, well, the coolant cells. And hopefully these will be done soon. Oh, it's only got one. Okay, so that's not working then. Let's put one in each and put three in there. So it needs to have all three in uh, there. Well, good to know. Let's uh, put these coolant cells to good use. I already have five in there, so make, let's make it six. And these furnaces can have three each. How fast do these work, I wonder? This was the one making cobblestone, but this is the one making the stone wafers. Let's um, let's craft up 
one few let's make six I should craft it up because I don't have any in the chests okay so it's really fast but it will drain uh, it will drain the energy quite some so let's not use too many the macerators are all up at three that should be fine these have two each let's uh that's five more of the coolant cells while the overclocker so let's request that up running low on rubber and I will make one for the extractor as well just to be sure uh, so I can have rubber extra amounts of it and these fill up with water cells that are slowly processed into coolant cells and uh, let's see I'm just waiting for the overclockers that's uh, that's one I could see one over there perfect that's two let's uh, put this in here oh not the lap pack that's uh, three I saw one I think yep yeah. and uh, that should be the last one and there it goes and it will come zipping down here whoosh I should probably at some point make these teleport pipes just to speed things up but for now this is cool enough and I quite like to see the pipes alright so what was I doing yes all the different types of uh, red power 2 gates we are going to need for each of these one two three four what well, four so four automated crafting tables so let's uh, request that up four and I'm gonna need four crafting logistics pipes as well and this will be built automatically hmm I think I ran out of diamond pipes. That means I should have very few diamonds left. Ouch. Oh well. I can make more using that little corner over there. Although I'll try to avoid it. As much as I can. Um, let's put it there. And we can put the crafting pipes on top. Perfect. And... Uh, Let's see, for the stone wire, I just need one redstone and a stone wafer. So let's request up a bunch of redstone. I should also make a bench for redstone torches. So actually, let's do that as well, because I don't think I have one. No, as you can see, I can't craft that and uh, a crafting logistics pipe. And uh, did I request a couple of these? No, I didn't. So a few torches and uh, some redstone yeah, that should do I might actually need more redstone so let's uh, do a bunch there we go and it will slowly fill my inventory with a bunch of redstone yeah these can generate energy and create fuel and redstone is considered fuel so we'll see how much I make automatically but there's gonna be a few of them oh there we go two of these make one of these perfect and uh, I think it was like uh, this to make the nodes and uh, to make a point well cathode I need a torch and a wafer like so just one and for the pointer I need one smooth stone as well so let's send one down the pipes oh there it is so like so now that I have all of these 
and uh, let's also make the make that extra one. Let's see. I have a copper ore. Hmm. Oh well. I'm gonna use that copper ore there. I will cut it down again. There we go. And the crafting pipe there. And uh, I need uh, I need to have some sticks. Those I know we can make. So we need one. And I should have somewhere. Yes, we do. Perfect. And uh, that's one redstone and one stick gets us a redstone torch. We all know that recipe. Perfect. Now I can request up all these little nifty nifty little stone pointers and things like that. Now we are going to make the gates. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I'm gonna make all of them, but also the repeater. But it would be nice not having to worry about them when we make them. So I'm just gonna get rid of these. I might as well just make yeah, let's make them automated. It's cool enough. So let's fill this one out. How many did we have? We had the repeater and the gates. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 up there. That means we are going to need nine automated crafting tables, nine crafting logistic pipes. We should be running really low on some resources like glowstone, redstone, yeah. How are we for diamonds? I can't see a single one in here, but I know I have plenty over there, so... Let's uh, actually get this. Wow, that's a lot of diamonds. Well, let's just say I won't be in need of diamonds for a while. 48 of them, wow. Alright, so we got these. Let me just set these up uh, off-camera. It's boring, repetitive, so yeah, I'll do it off-camera. Back in a while. Alright, I set all of these up, so we got the AND gate, the NAND gate, the OR gate, NOR gate, XNOR, XOR, the NOT, the buffer, and the timer. There are a few more. Uh, one that I need to do is uh, is uh, the toggle latch. This one is quite neat. I'm gonna need to make these. And I'd also like to make the pulse former. This one. But uh, I don't think I'm going to do them for now. Mm. Nah, let's not make them for now. I don't think I need them. I might need the toggle latch at some point. I think a few of the things that I crafted ended up in my other chest, like this. And uh, I'm going to make sure that all these things are in the red power chest so that we have access to it. Now, as you can see, I'm really, really low on redstone. This is all I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use equivalent exchange for this. And I'm going to remove that diamond and just put that in. And you can see we make redstone really fast. I think this is a bit cheating, but... Uh, it'll be more enjoyable for you in the end. Anyhow, so we are getting close to wrapping up here, but um, let's just make these uh, these. Um, I also have a RS latch that I need to make. Um, so toggle latch and RS latch, and we also have a transparent latch. I don't know how these work. I really need to brush up on my electronics, I think, but let's make the toggle latch and the RS latch real quick. So for that we're gonna need all these items again. So let's uh, see, I need for the RS latch I need two cathodes. 
of that I also need two cathodes. Let's just grab a bunch of it. I don't need the pointers though. Let's uh, grab ten of each. Just because I know I have it. Oh, it decided to craft them? Oh well, now I'm really, really low on redstone. C15. But that doesn't matter because I'll have a bunch of it there soon. So, another automated crafting table. Actually, make three of them. And that means we're also going to need three crafting pipes. We are good on glowstone dust, which is good. So, let me put down some more stone here. Like that. And then we can destroy the stone there again. Let's see now. The RS latch. That's just uh, wires up there and there. Was it anodes there? Yes. A cathode on each side of stone wafer. So, like that. Perfect. And the toggle latch is the same, but with a lever in the... M oh, almost the same. Wafers around, and... Uh, cathodes on top and wires. And a lever in the middle. Let's uh, make... Um, let me just browse the wiki real quick. Oh yeah, the repeater. I never made that one, did I? No. So three wires, cathodes, anode in the middle. and that. So, now I think we have all the ones that I'm going to be using. I think. Hmm. There are a few cells and uh, stuff like that, uh, but I don't think it's something that I need. No. All right. So I think that's enough of this episode. I'm running close to all the time up to 40. Oh, look at that. I can stop this now. I'm just going to stop that uh, item creator for now. Let's dump all these things back. We don't need them now. The diamonds as well. I also ha have Eternalis uh, fuel. Eternalis fuel, something, I don't know. Um, which can be used to make dark matter, and I'm going to make myself a dark matter pickaxe because they don't break and they're really fast. So, let's uh, finish up by doing that. For that, I'm going to need um, one diamond block for each dark matter, is it? Yes, I think so. Yes, and uh, eight for each. I can actually only make two. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's do that next episode, and I'll make some more diamonds for that. Alright, uh, until that, I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.